All right, so you and the missus just had a great big fight, or maybe you just barked at your uh, at your son for a for a really dumb reason. Uh, feeling kind of bad about it. So, how do you actually apologize to them? What what would be a way to be able to apologize so that you're able to repair the damage to the relationship that you did and be able to continue on down the road? We're going to be talking about that this week on Relaxed Mail. Hey man, hello and welcome. To, oh, hello. Hey man, hello and welcome to Relaxed Mail. All right, so <laughs> apologies. Not something we all like to do, but they have to be done from time to time. Uh, you apologize when you actually are making, uh, when you have done something that actually does damage to a relationship. And yeah, when you're being uh, deceitful or when you're doing, um, uh, or you have uh, blown your blown your cool and you're you know you've you've blown up all of your your wife or you just you went behind your wife's back and you did something she asked you not to all these different things uh violations of trust are big ones but there's other uh other things that happen where it you have done harm and you've done damage to a relationship so how do you repair that relationship well we all know as growing up as kids that you apologize but a lot of us just take apology as being i'm sorry i'm sorry i didn't mean to to do that and so you and not really fully owning up to what your what you did and why what you did was wrong and that's one of the reasons why a lot of times yeah you can go i apologized but she didn't want to accept it well because you actually didn't apologize you may have let her win the fight but you never actually stated what it was, that, uh, what the problem was. You never actually expressed, hey, I understand what I did wrong and why that caused a, uh, caused that thought in your head to be that you, that you shouldn't trust me. So apologizing in all reality is actually, is emotionally speaking very hard, but it is very necessary, but it is basically a five step process. Now there's other people who say there's a 14 step problem there. If you look at it real good, it usually boils down to about five different steps. And so that is, uh, first off, when you apologize, you, I'm sorry that, and you state what it is that you did wrong. All right. I'm sorry. I know I told you told me not to go buy uh, that, uh, by that uh, that new gun but and I and I did anyhow and I, I I'm truly sorry for that okay well all right you got the first step you you expressed what you did wrong you bought a gun when she asked you to not do so she may have even explained why we don't, why you don't shouldn't uh, spend that money to buy a new new handgun so you actually need uh, you need to take it a bit step further. What is it that, what's the feelings that you believe are being generated? Now, I know, I usually talk about your thoughts create your emotions. Your, uh, and the events that you have in your life that create those thoughts, create those emotions. So we're kind of going from the event, assuming, uh, knowing that there's gonna be a thought that involves, that creates that particular emotion. So we're going just from thought to emotion. Um, so whenever I'm talking about this, but what is it, what is the problem? What are the ramifications because you bought that new handgun? So it could be that, uh, now I know we don't have the money for rent. If it's get things getting real bad, which then I get that case, you should be definitely apologizing because dude, you you take care of you take care of the immediates before you start with the uh, with the uh, with the pleasures but if you say um, we were going to use that money to go on vacation in a month and now you've kind of set the whole vacation schedule back three weeks so you may have to say something along the line express what it is why what the frustration and so and 
let her know that you're what what you did uh, why what you did is wrong that's actually the best way to actually say it that would actually be the best way to to phrase that is uh, your exp why is it that what you did was wrong so I understand I went off and I spent four hundred dollars on a new uh, on that new handgun that I bought and after you expressly told me not to and I'm I'm apologizing for that because I know that it set our our vacation schedule back and we've already got all the uh, all all the 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 reservations set we've got our timetable laid out everything that's going and now we are four hundred dollar dollars short of what we need by that time so you're expressing the damage that you did you are making that connection you've said now said you've cut out the 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 the, the part of your uh, of the damaged relationship you've taken it you see because when you're working on it with wood if you have a rotting piece of wood you can either just paint over it or you can actually fix it and to fix it you actually have to cut and get rid of what the rotten part of wood is and that's what this next part does is you're actually taking that out and you're telling the person you you've slighted how you're going to fix the problem so it might be so for the next uh, three weeks, I'm actually going to be working on the weekends. Uh, I'm going to be building up that, rebuild that lost uh, uh, money because I know how important that this relation, this uh, this vacation is to you. And from there, you ask, you actually ask the actual problem or actual, uh, actual question of, will you please forgive me? And from there, you shut up and that's the fifth step shut up and now you have get taken you've expressed what the problem was why that problem is a problem how you're going to fix that problem and now you've passed that ball over into the your wife's court so to speak it is time for her to decide hey i want to forgive you i'll forgive you your your apology is accepted, but I don't have to forgive you. And she doesn't, and that's just it. You don't have, she doesn't have to forgive you. And it's not a requirement that is entirely upon her. And if she doesn't, then you've got to figure out a way of, of helping her to get to the level of forgiveness <clears throat> because maybe you're, you've done this stuff like this before you said, Oh, I'm going to work twice as hard and you don't. So she's not going to forgive you until you actually replenish that lost $400. So once you do that, and if she decides, Hey, I'm going to forgive you, uh, apology accepted. I am going to forgive you. Then, okay. Then you can start making those efforts and hold yourself to those efforts. Cause she's going to hold you to those efforts and to, show her that yeah i'm serious i'm really did screw up i know i screwed up i'm going to fix that problem and so you actually take those steps and that's the second half of an, all apologies is when you go to fix that problem actually do the thing to fix that problem because if you're not fixing the problem you're not making it any better that damage to the relationship is still there and it's still going to cause problems and it's going to sit there and it's going to fester and next time you screw up she's going to take that old thing that you did before that last time you bought a, a handgun and she's going to throw that right back in your face justifiably so all right so that's how the how you want to apologize that's the best way to apologize to so that you can take that relationship the damage that's in there you get it cut out get it mended and you can go forward and actually have a stronger relationship in uh in the process all right so there you go really nice short and sweet i appreciate you watching if you like this uh, video please click the like if you like the channel please hit that subscribe button and if you really really like it then hit that uh, bell icon that way you can be notified every time i put out a new video which is usually around friday all right so i thank you again for uh, for watching we will catch you next week and until then bye